Hey, what's up, guys? It's Silver here. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for joining me once again. And today, we're going to be watching the Black Ops 6 The Truth Lies live action reveal trailer. I'm low key hyped. I haven't seen anything yet on Twitter, on social media, and I haven't watched the actual video yet. It's only 57, 58 seconds long. Let's see what happens, man. If you guys are new, by the way, make sure you guys subscribe because I upload every day all Call of Duty content. And yeah, let's get right into it. There's somebody writing. We're recording. Somebody talking. The truth is. That's that's Bill Clinton. Your whole life is a lie. Son. Okay, I, I <laughs> why is Bill Clinton in Call of Duty, bro? You know, I'm not gonna lie. I swear there was some controversy when Black Ops One had JFK, Castro, and all of them in the game. I haven't seen like a historical figure in Call of Duty in years, bro. I it's felt like, and that's probably also why the Call of Duty campaigns are not that memorable as of lately. You know what I'm saying? Especially the Modern Warfare 3 campaign was absolute doggy. But it's kind of crazy to see a, a historical real life figure and president in a Call of Duty game. By him saying that the, you know, our, you know, entire lives have been a lie. I already think we're going against the government somehow. Subway. I don't know. You wanted peace, so I don't know who that is. Now it reaches all in the shadows. Behind closed doors. Where we hide okay. the world's secrets. Behind closed doors, we hide the world's secret. So what if, just like in real life, some people theorize that all the governments are all working together to try to shift the narrative. I don't know. I don't know. But but yeah, let's continue watching this. Build your trust. The world I'm going to grab in their glasses. I don't know who this is. That guy doesn't look real. That's Saddam Hussein, which was, I think, leaked or something like that. Look in the dark. Okay, I just completely missed. <laughs> but we have Saddam Hussein here, right? And listen, I'm not a historical figure, but I just know he's a really bad guy, apparently. Honestly, the four people they just showed us might, like, be like a zombie's crew for some government map, just like five. Because, dude, with all the hints to Black Ops 1 that we've had with the, the guy with the pose, all that stuff, I think it's gonna have, a, like, a five map. And, yeah. And then we have some guy over here. He reminds me of Bowman. But people were saying that's Bowman's son. But here we go. Black Ops 6, baby. Woo! Woo! Black Ops 6. That's beautiful. Oh, my God. Look at this, dude. Look at that. Oh, that is. Oh, my God. That is beautiful. Black Ops 6, dude. I never thought like 12, 10 years ago that there would be six Black Ops. You know, because back in the day when Black Ops 3 came out, like there's so many memes about there being Black Ops 7, Black Ops 6, Black Ops 5, you know what I'm saying? But Jesus Christ. And the worldwide reveal, but the worldwide reveal is June 9th. I cannot wait for that. I already have my calendar set and ready for that. And I can't wait. But let's see these comments over here. So is that Bowman holding pistols? Bill Clinton DLC? Let's hope it's not a flop like all of the Call of Duty's, which I, I totally understand. I'm not going to lie. A lot of the Call of Duty's campaigns and all that stuff were flops, but I think in the word of flop, what they mean is that not by the sales, but it's a flop with how fun the game actually is, how it performs and all that stuff, and how good the game actually is while playing the game. That was longer than the Modern Warfare 3 campaign. I totally get that. Can't wait. All Black Ops titles with a guy sitting holding two pistol traps with bangers. That's facts. That last shot with the iconic pose has so much aura on God. <laughs> We've waited four years for this moment from Mr. Dog JD. That's facts. We got Saddam Hussein before GTA 6. Jesus Christ. Remember, we got a job to do. Oh, my God. But I had a little uh, like Twitter thread about Black Ops 6. So Modern Warzone on May 23rd, when it was finally revealed that it was Black Ops 6, said, so are we hyped for Black Ops 6 or not? I said, if you ain't, why? And there's multiple replies that are all valid, in my opinion. Recon Rat says, Past couple of titles have been disappointing with new content, remade maps for previous titles and shitty skins. Until they show me more, I won't be excited for any new titles. That's completely, I, I totally agree. I wish there was more original DLC and new maps that come with launch. I wish there was more realistic skins, but also like skins being less. And I feel like since this game has had four years of development, two full years of testing, they gotta know the mistakes that have been me made by Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer. I'm more of an Infinity Ward player, which, come on, dude. Like, who cares about which studio makes the Call of Duty? It's the same thing, dude. 
because the franchise is dead. It has been since 2013. You could argue that. I don't think so personally. I personally think that the influx of new COD players is great, but they just have to get used to the community and how like what's been said before, what's been done before and how the community was in the past. But yeah, what is there to be hyped about? That's facts. We don't know anything yet. All we've had in the past five days since I tweeted this is legit just some gameplay of some girls sliding like all the way back like this in zombies. COD fell off arguable the generic cod cycle that happens every year that's facts i had hopes until they confirmed the same engine three years in a row i don't know if they actually confirmed that or not i have not seen any of the big like news sources say that because this could be an entire engine on its own because it's been being developed for four years now we literally know nothing about the game that's valid game sucks cod in general okay no be honest can't go off name alone with no details about the game there's no need to be hyped that's facts i think that why people are hyped is for the fact that it's someone doing the black ops one pose it's like all black ops one like um themed and all that stuff in the sense of like how they're doing the marketing how the game feels how they're using historical figures i think a lot of people are getting hyped because of how good the marketing actually is and that's impressive e-o-m-m -M, kid i don't know what that is <laughs> i only know skill based matchmaking know nothing about it that's facts xify multiverses has my attention now that's facts bro xify has been so much fun spmm i totally understand i totally understand that spmm suck because we've seen literally nothing about it Getting excited over cover images makes no sense. I think, like I said, I think a lot of people are getting excited because it feels like the marketing has just been so good that a lot of people are getting hyped. There's also more replies over here. Because Call of Duty gets hyped every single year just for people to hate it when it comes out. Well, there's a reason why we hate some of the things that Call of Duty does. We don't hate the actual game. We hate the changes that are made between titles that just don't make sense. I think a lot of people are going to hate if there's a no tax break in the game. Within the gameplay teaser that we saw for zombies the person didn't even like show off a tax break and she just slid i think if there's a change like that where it just doesn't make sense to change it a lot of people are gonna hate and that's valid but i don't understand the hate when it's like something that's super normal you know what i'm saying this is walter white guy i've seen this guy multiple times on call of duties like replies talking about bringing back supply drops this guy said because he'll have another bloated menu more 20 dollars skins instead of supply drops you can earn bro if they go back to supply drops they're gonna make us pay for dlc again and add variants to the point where you have to spend money to get it, so you actually have an advantage. I'd rather take this more grindy and free cycle, getting the battle pass done, and then also getting, you know, attachments that can make or break your weapon, rather than having to spend $5, $2.50, whatever it is, on supply drops to potentially get the weapon that you need to actually play the meta. In Advanced Warfare, if you did not have the ASM-1 and the BAL-27, the best variants of them, you're going to lose most of the gunfights. And that's pay to win. And it will be more recycled shit for previous CODs, which I understand. I totally agree with. I don't want to see more recycled shit. I want to see more original shit. Probably 20 different attachments like usual. Facts. Because Call of Duty shit, okay? And SPMM will kill the multiplayer within a week after a launch. Here's the thing, though. For the past two to three months, whoever is taking care of multiplayer now at this point, they have been adding game modes like 10v10 Mosh Pit, Arcade, Escort, 9v9 War, where there's no skill-based matchmaking at all. So my theory is, is that within the next two to five Call of Duties that we have, one of them will not have any skill-based matchmaking because there's no reason for them to add game modes with no skill-based matchmaking without them having a purpose to them. So I think that they're going to be testing out no skill-based matchmaking for this next COD. And the COD after that, Call of Duty 2025, will have no skill-based matchmaking onward because there's no reason for them to actually test those skill-based matchmaking playlists without a purpose, without a reason. So I think they've been testing this to see if, before we head out, I truly think that this whole entire campaign for Black Ops 6 will be about us exposing the truth and the lies that were told during a certain period of time and how it's caused us to go to this like bad state and have this other war and all that stuff. And we're going to straighten out everyone and see who's the good guys, who's the bad guys and all that stuff. But yeah, it's been more limited though, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new, once again, please consider subscribing. I upload every day. And yeah, it's been more limited. I love y'all. Peace.